Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday morning. I am refreshed and ready for a new super busy day. So let's get it going. Here's what I'm taking with me for beverages, lunch, and snack today. So first of all, I have my usual coffee and tea. Coffee is zero smart points with one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. Tea this morning is Teamy Bloom. One tablespoon of that with some lemon juice is zero smart points in my super awesome tea tumbler. So coffee and tea are zero smart points. For lunch, I'm having a repeat of Tuesday. This is my turkey wrap. It is one smart point. So I have a one smart point Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap on the bottom. It is that high fiber, low carb Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap, one smart point. Then I have one slice of the Kraft Fat-Free Singles for zero smart points. And then I have turkey breast, great value oven roasted turkey breast for zero smart points. I have sliced apple and some great value horseradish mustard for zero smart points. So my wrap all together is one smart point. With that, I'm going to have these vegetables. I have some mini bell peppers and some broccoli in there for zero smart points. I will be using this dip to have it with. This is um, a quarter cup of this Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt for zero smart points. And I have added a teaspoon and a half of this Hidden Valley Ranch. It's the seasoning mix. So a teaspoon and a half is zero smart points. So the dip I'm using is zero. Lunch altogether is one smart point. For my snack today, I'm having my butterscotch banana pudding. So this is the butterscotch yogurt. Uh, it is a half cup, again, of the Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt for zero smart points. And then inside that, I have one and a half teaspoons of this Jello sugar-free, fat-free butterscotch pudding for zero smart points. Mix that up together. When I'm at work, I will slice the apple, slice the banana first, Top it with the butterscotch yogurt and then drizzle this on top and that is the Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free pancake syrup. You guys, that is the most delicious and most filling zero smart point snack. It's so good, so good. That is my favorite right now. So that is my snack for zero smart points. And then I have an apple that I will probably eat on the way home from work. So that is everything I'm taking today for beverages, lunch, and snack. And that is one point to have until dinner tonight. Hey everyone, good morning. It's Thursday and this is my first walk break of the day. Here's my outfit of the day. So this is that, um, I love this top. This top I got, it has little um, rose gold, I don't know what they are, little rose gold things in it. This top I got at Walmart for like, um, it was between 12 to $15. It was definitely under $20. I got it um, before Christmas, love it. These jeans are my Venus size four jeans. I think I have two size four. Um, and I love them. I like taking note of the size because um, wherever I'm at on my journey on the weight, on the scale, whatever the scale says, if I put on a pair of jeans that I know the size and I know how they're supposed to fit and they fit, then I know I'm doing okay. So <laughs> these are my Venus size four jeans. I'm doing okay. And of course these Venus <laughs> amazing boots, which I know you guys see them all the time and they were pricey. They were 60 something, something I don't usually pay for shoes, but I'm telling you, I have totally gotten my money's worth out of them already just this year. So one season. So that was a super good buy. I love the heck out of them. And also, oh, this scarf too came from Walmart when I was in Idaho in, gosh, last end of last summer, it was like six bucks. So um, I have a scarf confession to make though. Um, I'm apparently very terrible with scarves because I lost, I lost my scarf from San Francisco that I loved, a knit eternity scarf. And um, come to find out later, I accidentally stuck it in a Christmas package for my sister. So she has my San Francisco scarf. Uh, Merry Christmas. Anyway, now last weekend we went to the Grand Canyon and I wore this beautiful gray scarf that I love and 
I lost it. I have no idea where it's at. I know I had it the first night we were there. I don't know if it got left in the hotel. I scanned the room. It's not in the car. I'm very disappointed because that scarf was actually given to me as a gift by Kat. So I'm really bummed about that. But I don't know what my deal is with scarves because I love scarves and now I'm down to like one favorite and then a couple of others that are like meh. Mm. Anyway, that's my scarf confession. I'm very sad. Um, I need to collect more scarves, apparently. Um, oh, as boring as my food was yesterday for lunch, it was functional. I have to tell you that chicken pocket thing was so delicious. It was so good. I really, really like that two ingredient dough. I like it. I think it's great. Um, Somebody was saying something in the comments about bagels. I agree, I would not make a bagel with it because bagels are meant to be boiled and then baked. Um, so you could try that with a two ingredient dough. I don't know how it'd work, but um, I just know I would overeat bagels, so I'm just steering clear of that. But I am loving this two ingredient dough so much and it was so good last night with all those fillings and stuff inside. Ah, it was so perfect. Um, shoot, I was gonna say something else about it and I totally forgot. Anyway, it was really good and I'm really excited to eat all the things I have planned for today too. Today is gonna be another good food day. Um, today is also a very busy day, I know. I'm trying not to complain to you guys about how busy I am right now and um, it definitely stresses me out, but it's, all, it's mostly my own doing. Um, just things that I have um, chosen to try and do this month. And things are really not going to lighten up for me until mid-March, probably until after the marathon. There's an art project that I want to do that's also due mid-March. I haven't committed to that yet because it's going to take quite a bit of time. And I don't think I have the time to devote until the beginning of March. So I don't know if I can complete it on time, but I really want to participate in the next art showing. So I don't know. Anyway trying not to complain and just stay very very positive i am well refreshed again this morning but i know i'm going to be dead tired by the end of this video because today i need to run a 15 mile run and the bummer thing about this is that i've really i usually only do 12 miles on the treadmill because um it's super boring it gets just i listen to my audiobook but it just gets really really long so 12 miles has usually been my limit and then i'm like okay i gotta i gotta run outside but <laughs> I don't have time to run outside. Um, I wanna start running my long runs on the weekends, but this weekend is just absolutely slammed. So um, I have to run it tonight, and my other option was to run outside in the dark. It's not really dark um, because it's, it's all street, so it's not like super dark, but you know, <sighs> I don't have the best eyesight. I can just see myself tripping on cracks in the sidewalk and falling and breaking my arm or getting hit by a car or who knows what. It's the middle of the city <laughs> and a lot of things could happen. So I'm just gonna take the safer route, do 15 miles on the treadmill. <laughs> it's gonna be a long haul. That's literally two and a half miles of running, you guys. Two and a half miles on a treadmill. So that's my challenge for today, but I'm just trying to not think about it. Don't think, just do, Julie. Don't think, just do. So that's my motto for today. I'm not gonna do any walking at lunch. I'm actually just gonna film a video. So I'm just gonna try to, I have like so much to do like in the office too. It's like literally all points of my life right now are like, whew, go, go, go. But staying positive about it and staying happy and I'm just gonna knock things out and I fixed my nail. Okay I just finished 12 miles so I have three to go. This is gonna be where the mind games start. It's gonna be very challenging mentally, but you know what? So is a marathon. So I can do three more miles. Okay, 
Okay, it's 8.45. I am finally done. I'm the only one left in the gym, not surprisingly. Um, the good thing about a run that takes so long is I got to listen to a good hour of my audiobook. I listened to a Fat Dad podcast, and I started listening to a podcast called When Delicious at Goal. But all my batteries died like the last little bit, so I had to spend 12 minutes in my own mind. <laughs> so yes, it was a mind game to the end. Um, but I just want to remind you guys that you just don't know what your body is capable of until you actually push it. You don't know. I didn't know that I could run 15 miles even this morning. I figured that I, since I've done it before, I haven't, I don't think I've run 15 miles in like over a year or probably more, maybe even three years. I don't think I've run that far since my last marathon. So I, I didn't know for sure that I could do it, but knowing that I had done it before, I knew it was gonna be all up here in my mind. You don't know what your body is capable of until you push it and use your mind to push it. So I'm absolutely happy that I did not give up on myself, that I pushed myself to the next level of my marathon training. And you know what, you guys can do it too. Set your sights on your goal and don't give up on yourself. And I'm talking about physically and with your food journey. You don't know what you can accomplish until you try. So anyway, I am absolutely parched. I don't know how I'm even talking right now. I need to go get some water and then I've got to go to Trader Joe's for round two of grocery shopping and I'll probably be eating dinner again at 10 p.m. if I'm lucky. Eddie's gonna help me tonight though, so I'll show you guys what we have. I got something else to talk to you about. Also, I will tell you in the car. Okay, this is my reward for a job well done. Yay, but just a little bit. Oh man, it's all home. And yep, that's enough. Good job, Julie. Okay, Trader Joe's, you almost had everything I needed. Almost. Of course, they had the most important thing, the Bellini, the all-important Bellini. And I don't need to show you guys that because if you watch my videos, you see the Bellini almost every night. So they had Bellini, which just makes my whole day. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so they had the Bellini. They are out again of the everything but the bagel seasoning. So that was kind of frustrating, but I did ask and they are not discontinuing it. They are just out of it. So I have tried and I've been using the Trader Joe's everyday seasoning, but it's a little too salty for me and it just doesn't have the flavor that the everything but the bagel seasoning has. So I picked up some of this 21 seasoning salute. I know that Jess at Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy uses this a lot. So I guess we'll try this. I hope it's not very salty and I hope it packs a whole lot of flavor like the bagel seasoning. So I got this and of course these little things are just $1.99. They had the green god dressing that I've been loving. This is four tablespoons for one smart point. It's the best deal on a good flavored salad dressing that I can find. I have some of the Skinny Girl Poppy Seed. Ugh. It has the fake sweet taste. I have the Walden Farms Raspberry Vinaigrette. Same thing, same gross sweet taste. And all of the other fat-free, low-fat yogurt dressings are about, I, the best I can find is Bolt House um, Blue Cheese Yogurt Dressing, which is my second favorite. Two tablespoons for one point. This is four tablespoons for one point. And I am loving the flavor. I had it on salmon the other day on the road and it was delicious. I can't, I think maybe 2.49, I can't remember. My the Weight Watchers leader recommended this. You guys may have had this before. Shrimp stir fry. So this entire bag is zero smart points. It's, um, it's a lot of vegetables and fish doesn't fill me up anyway. So I'm probably gonna have the entire bag for dinner one night. I have a whole ton of scallops in the freezer. So I will probably add scallops to this. Um, it looks like a lot. If I don't eat it all, I'll take some for lunch. But I got some of this to try. This is $5 though, so I don't know that I would buy it that often. Um, that's all I got at Trader Joe's. So thanks a lot, Trader Joe's. You almost won my heart. Well, you had the Bellini, so you, you had me at Bellini. Right, Eddie?
Eddie loves it when I stock up on Bellini. <laughs> Okay, so I had to tell you guys something about the step challenge. Today is week two of the step challenge. So that means all of you guys who are participating in the step challenge, you should have already entered all your steps for week one, which was last Thursday to yesterday, Wednesday. So as of this afternoon, when I checked the spreadsheet, um, ooh, I can't read. 39 people out of 70 hit their step goal six days out of seven 39 of you that is so awesome so all of you guys who hit your step goal six days out of seven you will get one entry into the prize drawing at the end of the month so I'm going to list Good job, guys. that's right Eddie doesn't input very often so when he does it's meaningful so I am going to list in the description box everyone who hit their step goal six days out of seven. If your name is not on the list, you need to either go in and input your steps, perhaps you forgot, or if you didn't hit your step goal six days out of seven, that's okay too, because I didn't. But I know that the challenge is still helping me at least try to hit my step goal six days out of seven. So if you're trying, you're still doing your body a whole lot of good. So keep that up. Anyway, so I will put the names don't in. Give Don't give up. Keep going. It's the start of a new week. Today is the first day. So get after those steps. Um, I'll put your name in the description box. Just make sure that your steps are up to date on that Google document. So that's what I have to say about that. And <clears throat> oh, did you guys like my guest intro? I put it at the very, very beginning of this video, even though it didn't happen until this afternoon. Eddie had the absolute pleasure of meeting today two of our very favorite YouTubers ever. I don't know if you guys know them, but if you don't, you should. Number one, the carpetbagger. Jacob, the carpetbagger. He is a folk art vlogger who goes to random places throughout the United States and explores and gives you the history and just very, very interesting. Very kind of off the wall, cool, interesting. So Jacob the Carpetbagger was here from, I believe he lives in the Midwest somewhere. He was here visiting. So Eddie had a chance to meet with him at Disneyland. Second favorite is Adam the Woo. Adam the Woo. He the did woo? the Woo. He did daily vlogs for like three years. Five years. Oh, in two five months. years. So I've done daily vlogs for a little over a year. I can't touch his status. He is a big, big, big time Disneyland, Disney World vlogger, and lately I believe he's just kind of been all over California. So if you guys want to see the sights of, you, you want to see more Disneyland, you want to see more touristy stuff, you want to see some off the wall folk art kind of stuff, you need to watch Adam the Woo and Jacob the Carpetbagger. And I'll also show you guys the picture that Eddie got to take with both of them. I am super jealous. So I hope you guys like that intro and the suspense all day, or all of my day, all of this video. You're probably wondering, what was that? Who was that? So I'm gonna put their links Who in. Was Who was that? I'm gonna put their links in the description box below. So if you guys are interested, you can check out their channels too. We actually watch them. They don't post every day, but um, every night um, we have, Eddie and I have a little lineup of YouTubers that we watch together. So those are some YouTubers that we watch every time they put a video up. Um, so that's that, my guest intro. So you guys, I decided, would you like to do a guest intro? for Live and Large on Lifetime. If you wanna do a guest intro, you absolutely can. Do a video of yourself introducing my channel and then introduce yourself. I'd love to show you guys, my awesome viewers, on this awesome channel. So, number one, take video of yourself introducing this channel, Live and Large on Lifetime. And number two, introduce yourself. The only third thing is that it has to be short enough that you can actually email it to me <laughs> because that's the only way that I can really receive video so it just needs to be very brief very to the point but I'd love to see your lovely face and I would love to show all of my 6,000 viewers you guys one at a time so if you'd like to participate and be a guest intro -er, 
look in the description box for my email and send me your videos. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So I have one more thing to leave you with before I go home and make dinner. Eddie's actually gonna make part of the dinner for me. So I will probably link the recipe below as well. Not link it, I'll type it out because my recipe is different. Um, this is gonna be a huge description box tonight. If you're looking for something in particular, you better scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Just like my run, just do it. Um, but I have two very cool things to leave you with that I learned today. So the number one most tracked beverage on the Weight Watchers app is coffee. That's not a surprise, right? The number two most tracked beverage on the Weight Watchers app is, can you guess, Eddie? Wine. It's wine. It's totally wine. So I am not the only one who lives on coffee and wine. You guys are out there. I know it. And I hope you appreciate my daily menus because they help me eat and drink the things that I love. I hope they help you guys eat and drink the things that you love. And if you guys have tried the Sense wine that Weight Watchers has released, let me know if you like it. They now have a white wine and a rosé wine, and it is lower in smart points. I believe it's also a tad lower in alcohol content. I haven't tried them because I am a cheapskate and it's probably going to be out of my price range. I would like to try a bottle at least once or twice, but I am actually also waiting for them to come out with a, woo, that was quite a bump. I'm waiting for them to come out with a red wine, so. All right, I will see you guys in just a few so I can show you what we're having for dinner. I'm gonna be eating a late one again. Okay, so I'm making a taco wrap for dinner and I wanted to show you guys what I have in it before I roll it up. So the bottom is a One Smart Point Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap, the high fiber, low carb, one smart point. And then I have a third a cup of the Trader Joe's Beefless Beef. A third a cup is one smart point. I have a quarter cup of Kraft Fat-Free Shredded Cheddar for zero smart points. And then I have some of this um, green chili, chili willy, chili willy on the top. So I'm gonna heat this up for um, just enough to let the cheese melt. I already heated the beef. And then roll it up, hopefully neatly. Okay, you guys would not believe how late it is. It's 10.45. I can't believe I still have this much energy. I knew it was going to be a super late dinner because when you run for two and a half hours after work and then you got to go grocery shopping, it's going to be a late one. So it's pretty late tonight and I will probably not get as much sleep as I should, but that's okay because I'm feeling pretty great, which is actually surprising considering the super busy day I've had and actually the super busy week so far. So here's the rest of my dinner. Here is the wrap that I told you guys about that is two smart points. This is just some canned fat-free refried beans for zero smart points. This is some more chili willy and I will probably use that either to dip um, the taco wrap in or I'll mix it in with the refried beans. This stuff, you guys. So this is a corn tomalito. And if you've ever been to Chevy's Mexican restaurant, they serve this, they serve a little tiny bit with your entree and it's so good. So I found a copycat recipe and adjusted it a little bit so that it would be four smart points for two thirds of a cup. So it's a really nice hefty serving and it's only four smart points. So the ingredients are basically um, corn. I threw the cans of corn away. So it's corn, baking powder, cornmeal, sugar, um, masa flour, and almond milk. I guess Eddie put the almond milk away too. So those are the ingredients and salt and water. Um, I will link my recipe down below. Like I said, I did adjust it from a copycat recipe. Um, so, and then also the recipe says to, I believe, bake it in the oven like a custard. And we usually just cook ours in the microwave for four minutes. I do two minutes and then stir it, and then another two minutes and it's ready. So it's just, it's hard to describe. It's kind of bready, but it's kind of like a pudding, but it's got corn in it. So it's like a mushy corn muffin. It's really, really good. So this is my dinner. Um, oh, over here is my half and half 
sangria. So in case you guys haven't noticed, um, when I make the half and half sangria, it's only 14 points versus when I do a full bottle of Bellini is 18 smart points. So on days when I have a little bit higher points, I've been doing the half and half sangria and um, my, my taste buds have changed since I had sangria all summer and then I switched to the grapefruit Bellini. So my taste buds have, have changed and I'm not like super into dry reds right now. So I'm finding that this half and half sangria is perfect. Um, it's better than the sangria that I was making this summer because that makes a really big batch and then I'm just tempted to drink and drink and drink it. So this is literally, <laughs> I say one serving, but this is like one Julie serving um, and it's only 14 points. So then I can have a little bit higher points for lunch or dinner. So um, what did I have for lunch? So for lunch I had the turkey wrap. It was one smart point. This is two smart points and this is four. So that is seven smart points plus 14 takes me to 21. So I have 21 smart points for the day. And just a reminder, so what is in the half and half sangria is 16 ounces of red wine for 14 points and a can of this diet squirt for zero smart points. And then I have frozen lime, frozen orange, and frozen lemon in it today. And then I have my frozen grapes in the glass. So somebody asked me if I eat the frozen fruit after I'm done drinking my beverage. I sure do. <laughs> um, it's actually, the grapes are actually better frozen because once they thaw out, they're kind of mushy. Um, and also frozen oranges, I just found out tonight, are really, really good. So anyway, that's my long-winded dinner. So everything I have today is 21 smart points. I'm going to scarf this, I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna relax a little bit and head to bed because I've had a very productive day.